Happy Esther, everyone, or Happy Easter. The word Easter, uh, some of the etymological roots of it, if you parse the word, goes back to Old Germanic, Old English, Eoster or Easter, but instead of T-E-R at the end, it's T-R-E, uh, which very old languages. If you study Parse like I do, uh, you'll find these things out if you look it up. Google's a wonderful tool to use. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to give you a story about the holiday Easter. Uh, the monotheistic, money, monotheistic religion, Christianity, which is one of the Abrahamic religions, they call today, they call Easter, Easter, as far as I know. All denominations, they still refer to it as Easter, whether they celebrate it or not as such. Easter Sunday. No matter what uh, the date is, their belief is that the character Jesus died on Friday and comes back to life on Sunday, Easter Sunday. And they use the word Easter. The word Easter has nothing to do with Christianity. Christians out there, I don't know if you know that. If you look it up, you will find that Easter is a form of the nativity word Esther, spelled with the digraph A-E, and it refers to an ancient fictional goddess. Just like, you know, the character Jesus is fictional, the character Esther is fictional. So Christians always wonder, how did bunny rabbits and eggs have a part in their Lord and Savior coming back to life and floating off into the heavens? Well, I can give you some closure on that or offer you some closure that you can go and certify for yourself on Google or whatever search engine you choose to use. Easter, or Esther, was an ancient pagan goddess. I'm not going to go into the origins or specific origins of it. Suffice to say it was pagan, all right? And this predated, came before any inkling of a character named Jesus or the monotheistic religions. It came before that, okay? It predates it. And Esther was a goddess, a fiction goddess of fertility. So it was a celebration, Easter was a celebration of spring, of fertility, everything coming back to life. The eggs and the rabbit symbolize fertility, egg fertilization, finding the egg, and propagating the survival of the species. That's it. That's the long and short of it. And from my comprehension, there was a time when an emperor um, wanted to convert everyone in Europe to Christianity. There were still pagan holdouts. And they wanted to subvert and subordinate these pagans. Uh, they tried to do it by force. And although they were successful, just like uh, they were successful in North America in genociding the Native Americans, they were doing the same thing to the Europeans. But he wanted to try and make it easier. So he decided to bring the pagan holiday of Easter, Esther, into uh, the Christian canon of holidays. And he brought it in with... <laughs> the Jesus myth and combined them and said, look, pagans, you can convert to Christianity safely. We will leave you alone. We got your holiday here for you, bro. And so the pagans, you know, rather than keep to keep getting, you know, pillaged and murdered and persecuted, they converted. And Easter is a pagan holiday. And they moved the dates around of the Christian, uh, idea of Jesus, the date of that, they moved it to match the Easter date, the spring. And that's the long and short of it. It predates Christianity. That myth, that fiction myth of the fiction goddess, Esther, predates the fiction myth of Jesus. And I just wanted to offer that up to you, to those of you who are open-minded about these things. You know this is a grammar channel. I'm looking at it through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. And I know that none of this can be actually certified. They're just stories. And it's fun to tell. And it's fun to spend time with your family uh, on a Sunday uh, celebrating this holiday, whichever way you do so. Hope everyone has a blessed day. And I'll see you in the next one.